Hello, my friend. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm also good. Good. <laughs> I was thinking that today we could make our talk about culture. Culture. Oh yes, yes. We can talk about culture. Mm -hmm. uh, I love uh, culture. I studied it in college. So <laughs> amazing. I would like yeah. to ask you some questions. Yeah. And if you think of any question that you would like to ask me about how we live here, uh -huh. that would be good as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to start with one that I had in mind here. Growing up in Brazil, in this specific part of Brazil, I was eventually spent as a kid. Like when my parents wanted me to behave in a certain way. Yeah. Mostly my mother. <laughs> I don't know if that's okay to say it like this, but you tell me if it's appropriate. She would beat me uh, if, like, I would put a used glass on the sink and not wash it. Oh, okay. She would, you see. are supposed to uh, do the dishes? Yes, yes. At do least... Uh, the dishes, wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. And if you don't do it, if you just put it, like, on the sink... For me to wash it, well, that's that's not something we tolerate in this oh, house. Oh, I see. So if she would often uh, ask, who put this glass here on the sink? Who did it? Because oh, no. we were three, three brothers mm -hmm. who, who did this. And then everyone would say, I didn't, I didn't, he did it. <laughs> and then we would start fighting. And once she knew, the the guilty one yes the culprits uh, and i remember i would try to hide from her we would all run from her uh, i would like to oh, no. go under the bed yeah because we i was small and she couldn't reach me so That's she so would smart. grab like a uh, what is it that you use to wipe the floor wipe oh wipe. a broom uh, to sweep the floor Sweep the floor. Yes, a broom. A broom. And then she would start to poke me. Get out of oh my hand. Come here and get it. That's <laughs> so, terrifying. The, and uh, <laughs> today, I don't think that if I had a kid, I would use the same methods. Right, no. <laughs> and, but I got to say, I love my mother. And right. she, and I believe that she taught me uh, a good thing when it comes to being organized and cleaning after what I made a mess and yes, after you made tidying a mess. up and all that. It didn't work for my, <laughs> my younger brother, okay? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, just you. <laughs> but what about you? Uh, well, let's see. Did I get spanked? We usually don't say beats. Um, that's more severe, but we say spanked. Mm. Um, I I didn't get spanked, but I knew kids that did. Um, mm. And that was back in my day. So I'm, I'm 34. So uh, I grew up in like the 90s. So in the 90s, it was um, pretty common for kids to get spanked. Now, nowadays, it's not. Like they don't really do that <laughs> now but i think back then it it was um and I, I would hear my friends talk about it all the time <laughs> about, about getting spanked or getting getting spanked or getting a spanking uh, spanked. i'll try to write it getting a spanking mm -hmm. one or the other <laughs> okay so so you grew up in never got spanked um I don't think so. No. I'm laughing now. Uh -huh. I remember this this lady. She uh what is the name for someone who does interviews? Ah, reporter. Yeah. And she was like on TV. Yes. <laughs> and someone asked her, Were you ever spanked as a child? And then she answered, As a child, no. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. that's that's nice. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, maybe as a grown-up, I don't know what 
was I going on. I catch her meeting. <laughs> it's so <for> embarrassing. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. Oh, now, if it. you have a question for me about yeah. culture, but if you don't, it's okay. Um, I have this website here open with what? People from all over the world reveal, reveal the weird things about America and that they don't understand. We can talk about <laughs> some of the things, but if you have a question, you can I, go for it. I do have one. I've, I've heard that in Brazil... Like you don't really have automatic cars. You have stick shifts. All the cars are stick shifts. And it's like the opposite here. So I was wondering uh, about that. Is that true? And um, what is it like learning? Mm -hmm. Because I haven't even learned how to drive a stick shift. A lot of people here have it. I tried once with a friend and uh, I kept stalling out his car. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he, he gave up on me. <laughs> so, I understand. It, I it, never it can be difficult. Mm -hmm. um, it is hard to drive stick. Is it, is it how you say it? To drive yes. stick? To drive is stick. It, it's, mm -hmm. it's hard. I remember when I was learning, and to answer your question, yes, like 99% of the cars here are not automatic. Uh -huh. And when I remember when I was learning, I, like, I was with my father and my brother, we were, he was teaching us. So we were like just doing, um, I don't want to say leaps around the block. Loops. Loops. We were just doing loops around the block. Mm -hmm. And this guy, he, he thought it was weird. And he called the police on us. Oh, because he kept driving by? <laughs> exactly. Like and we were taking it up. pretty slow. It was a quiet place. So that's why we chose to practice there. Yeah. Uh, so we were scoping, scoping. Scope. He thought you were scoping out the place, like scoping, scoping. out. Mm -hmm. Scoping out is what criminals do when they're going to like commit a crime in an area. Mm. They'll go and like sit and watch and see what the neighborhood's like. And when people come and go, that's scoping out. So, so that, that's what he thought. But, he thought yeah. we were scoping out. Yeah. And he called scoping the police. Out the neighborhood. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> my, my... My father is a policeman. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he was. Now he is, has retired. And we were doing that. And at some point, he approached us, us. And he asked us questions. And we identified ourselves. We told them what we were doing. And it was fine. But he told us that he had been kidnapped uh, like a month ago. And he was really worried since after that, yes. Wow. And that's why he was so worried. Oh, it's okay, I understand. I understand how, yeah. how he felt. So that's, and we were doing that because it's so, it's so, it's so hard to drive a stick car, but it's like everything else. Once you learn it, you don't really think about it. You just do it automatically. Right. Mm -hmm. But when we, went to the United States before we went there. I had to borrow my cousin's car for like a ride so I could learn how to drive an automatic car. Oh, really? You have and to learn... It's pretty simple. If you learn yeah. how, if you know how to drive a stick, you know how to drive automatic, but the opposite is not the yes. so easy. Right. But I remember when we got to the place like to Hertz in mm -hmm. the airport close to the airport they told me oh you can get any car from this side of the parking lot okay because they are all compatible with what you rented okay and we went inside one of the cars and i didn't see a stick at all because even automatic cars have like you put it in drive and yeah. reverse and things like that and i couldn't find there was just this kind of circle it was a, a ford focus i believe yeah so advanced and I tried to adjust the, the seat so, so <laughs> yeah. it would be better for me, but I couldn't find the thing that the I lever? have in my car, the lever probably, mm -hmm. that I have underneath the seat in my car. Yeah, I pull yeah. it up and then I can adjust like front or back the, uh, the seat. I couldn't find it. It was so advanced. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a spaceship to me. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do with that one. So I had to look for... Uh, older model 
Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That <sighs> right. So they are really advanced. I I remember because my last car was mm -hmm. older too. It was like a 2006. So when I got into my ex-boyfriend's car, um it was like what how, there what is, is you know this? a screen like i've never been in a car with this i had never been in a car with a screen before and <laughs> it was like where is the ac like the the air conditioner mm -hmm. i i couldn't find it he said oh you have to tap the screen to change the ac i was like why isn't there just a dial mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's really crazy yeah it's crazy. um uh, another cultural thing mm -hmm. uh, related to cars have you ever been inside of a Tesla? Have you ever driven one? No, I haven't. Uh, I would love to. They look really cool. <laughs> uh, I agree. I agree. Any yeah. question for me? No. Do you have one I more have, for me? I do. I do. Yeah. I remember. I don't really like to use the restroom. Like when I want, when I'm outside my house, I, I don't think everybody, anyone does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you prefer to right. go to the restroom in your place. Right? Yeah. Yeah, but I had to because I was in, when I was in the United States, we drove all the way to uh, Fort Lauderdale mm -hmm. to visit this mall, go shopping there. Right. And I oh, had I to use it. the restroom mm -hmm. and I noticed a weird thing and it's uh, and I researched on the Internet and people uh, say the same thing about best, uh, public bathrooms in America. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see if you what do you know about this? It's like the gap. The and gap? What gap? The gap like you have on the door, like you are in the toilet and there is this gap from, on both sides of the door, like a centimeter or two, the door is not connected to the wall. It's not like this. It's not like fully closed. Oh yeah, there's you a crack. You have a gap like yeah. this. Yeah. So that people uh, uh, passing by, they can see you. In the yeah. Isn't yeah. That crazy? I have kids sometimes that will like come up and look at me and I'm just like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. It's usually not that, that bad, but yeah, it's definitely like, like if so somebody could come and like put their eye and like see exactly. everything. That's yeah. so embarrassing. I know. Yeah. I, it's, it's, um, <laughs> I'm pretty used to it. Um, and like, I, you know, nobody, nobody looks, uh, I never really like took notice of it. I just thought like, oh, that's the way they're, the doors are designed because all stalls have like the same doors all over the country. Um, I never really thought much of it. I just thought they were like that everywhere. It's interesting to know they're not but yeah even in high schools <laughs> in schools yeah uh and this so whenever so <laughs> i researched I, I thought it was so crazy that i researched online mm -hmm. and i found people from other places in the world um commenting about this when visiting america there is the gap in the, the on the wow. door that's so crazy so interesting i never thought much of no it privacy. yeah yeah no <laughs> Uh, when I was in, uh, when I lived in like the middle of nowhere in middle school, they, the doors didn't have locks on them uh, when mm -hmm. I at my middle school. So girls would like open the door and run away <laughs> while you were in there. It was terrible. So yeah. Great. But yeah, whenever I'm, whenever, <laughs> this might be TMI, but whenever I'm using the restroom, I'm always like, like trying <laughs> to cover myself up as much as possible. Uh, I believe that the, uh, there is probably a safety issue related to that. So maybe someone won't hide or do some anything that is not appropriate. Right. There probably probably is. Um, but I okay. never stopped to think about it. I <laughs> I never heard of anybody discussing the gap before. I just thought no, it was no, a thing. <laughs> Oh, okay, so cool. as usual, it was lovely talking to you. Yes. And I hope we can come up with some other questions for future meetings. Yes, it sounds great. Yes, have a nice I'll definitely day. have more. You too. Bye. <laughs> Bye.